Uh, streaming candidates, so people yep. under 60% ownership on ESPN Fantasy who we think could go well this week as a one-off option. Um, QB streamers, always a strange position to stream, but who are you looking at here? And should I stream this week? <laughs> or is Tua good enough to start? Who knows? But you, who, who are you going with here? I reckon Tua is good enough to start, mate. But I'm going with uh, Jameis Winston just because they're playing the single worst passing defense in the NFL in the Atlanta Falcons. Could not be a better fixture for him to come in. Um, we're, we're pretty certain he's going to be named starter. I don't think he's officially announced it yet, no. but I'd be very surprised if he if Taysom Hill comes out and starts. So having said that, I think Jameis is a good streamer this week against Atlanta because like, there's no way the Saints aren't going to put up points. So just because of that, Jameis will have to do pretty well in fantasy. Yeah, I yeah, I don't know. I, I'm probably I, I hate risks in fantasy a lot more than you do. So I'm I'm steering clear. I had the opportunity to pick him up yesterday, but I um, didn't because I didn't want that on my bench. Just a bit of an unknown quantity, but def, definitely has a high ceiling. Yeah. Um, but yeah, for me, they just r- rush a lot of their touchdowns in. But I think he will become best friends with Michael Thomas and Kamara over the next couple of weeks. And he'll be quite a reliable option actually, I reckon. Uh, but for me, it's Kirk Cousins, uh, probably a surprising streaming candidate because he does, he's, he's fond of a sub 10 score, but rostered in 15.7% of leagues. <laughs> That's so low. But they play the Cowboys. So that is yeah. what's keeping me in it. The Cowboys actually don't have the worst pass defense statistically. Uh, but they're so bad against the run and they have conceded the most points since the start of October that I think Dalvin Cook is going to have a field day and that's going to help play action. That's going to help Kirk Cousins get yardage and it's going to see them in the red zone a lot more than they have been in the last couple matches. So um, I think Kirk Cousins will definitely throw a couple TDs unless Dalvin steals them all and he'll have a nice yards per completion rate, which we'll see him score decently I reckon Um, but yeah always a little bit of risk involved with Kirk Cousins but for me he's the option Um, I've heard a lot of people saying Alex Smith projected I think he's the highest guy in our waiver wire Um, he's projected really high but for me that's too much of a risk but they do love throwing it now they've got Alex Smith at quarterback so I guess he could be another option but yeah I'll probably steer clear of him but that's just another guy if you needed another name Uh, running backs who have you got here Running backs, um, I've gone with the man you've just picked up and I believe you're streaming this week, Kalen Balage. It's not a stream, mate. He is. I'm riding him out. All right. Well, we'll see, we'll see if he gets some, some carries when Eckler comes back. No, nah, mate. No, nah, mate. I remember Eckler last year. When Melvin came back, Eckler just, like, he still was good in fantasy, but yeah. Gordon got enough touches to do well. So I'm confident in the belt whatever his name. And apparently Anthony Lynn came out this morning and said he's in um, for more touches this week. And he, they reckon they're going to try and um, make him a compliment to Eckler's game. But yeah, I agree with you. Great stream well, this week. Why, why are you saying, Josh, why do you like him this week? Josh Kelly was getting like 15 carries. Yeah, I know. In the side, so Bellag- That's strange. Bellagio will get some opportunity, but um. Yeah, I mean, he's going to have the pretty much the backfield. He's going to be the main guy there this week. So, apparently, he's massive. I haven't seen him, but I heard he's pretty large or like solid. I don't know which 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 way they meant massive. I, I've forgotten now who they're, they're playing. They're, who are they playing? They're playing the Jets. Yeah. Um. So yeah, he's. I'm probably going to have to play him, which isn't pretty. Yeah. But nah, he's he's he, he'll be a pretty safe stream this week against the Jets. Like he'll he's got the backfield to himself. Clarkson will probably get a few carries, but he's pretty yeah, pretty just, safe for twelve points. Yeah, it's just a matter of yeah. I think he's got a nice floor, which I like to see. So I appreciate that shout out, mate. Um, my no worries, main mate. my main guy in this section is Naheem Hines. Um, just love what he does in the receiving part of the game, similar to JD McKissick, um, just means he has a really high floor. And I think I actually picked him as a streamer two weeks ago and I didn't pick him last week, which is the week he did well. So maybe don't stream him because he seems to not like being shouted out as a streaming candidate. But against the Titans, he had 12 carries, 70 yards, almost 60 yards per carry 
He also had a rushing touchdown. Jonathan Taylor is slowly being phased out of the offense. I think he only had 25% of snaps or something. So Hines is slowly becoming the main man there, and they're against a Packers defense that isn't too good in the air or on the ground. The game script probably won't suit, but with the, with the running back who loves to get involved in the passing game, I don't think the game script is that important because he's probably going to get more targets if they go down early. Um, so he's my man. And then my, another guy, risky sh- option because he's very inconsistent, but Rex Burkhead um, killed it the other day against the Ravens. Uh, I can't remember who they're playing, but I think they've got a fairly easy fixture. Houston. Yep, he's yeah. probably the worst rush defense next to the Cowboys. And if you're backing him, he won't get all the carries because Damian Harris is there. But um, if you like him for a touchdown, well, then he's probably going to go well. So he's another option. Wide receiver, who have you got, Nate? Yeah, the wide receivers with under 60% are normally pretty ugly. But Christian, sorry, Jacoby Myers. How is he still not getting picked up? Yeah, I think this week he'll people will start to get him. But um, yeah, he's been really good the last month or so. He's Newton's number one man, been balling out, and pretty juicy matchup against Houston as well. So he's a pretty safe stream, and he should be rostered in over sixty percent of leagues. That's pretty pretty disgusting. Yeah, I don't know why he's not. To be honest, he also threw a touchdown on Monday or Sunday. So. He's got that yeah, up his lo- in his locker as well. <laughs> um, but, yeah, no, he's my stream as well. Easily the best option over 60%. Yeah, uh, under 60%, the next guys were like Randall Cobb and stuff who could put up zero um, quite comfortably. So, yeah, Jacoby, by far and away the best streamer in pretty much all leagues. Um, yeah, can't really see a world where he goes below 10, to be honest. Um, I yeah. probably jinxed him there. But locked in for seven-plus targets – if he's catching four, yeah, he's getting 10. So, um, yeah, I like Myers definitely as a streaming option. Um, tight end, I've got Logan Thomas. I actually said this bloke last week, and he ended up being one of the few quarterbacks, uh, tight ends to go above 10. So I was happy with that call. But I'm going to get on him again this week. Um, just he gets bulk targets. And now that um, Alex Smith is under center, he's actually getting more yards per reception, which was his main issue prior to Alex Smith coming in. He used to average like five yards per reception, but on the weekend he was up over 16. He had six targets for the second week in a row. Um, He's actually starting to become a pretty reliable tight end, just doesn't have the scoring um, potential to make him a starter. But yeah, he's a solid stream if you have someone on the buy or something like that. Um, Who's your tight end streamer? Yeah, I'm also going the same guys last week. Dallas got it. Still isn't over sixty percent rostered. Um, he's he had I think he had a decent amount of targets last week. Four catches for thirty yards. I mean, not great, but the Wentz does love his tight end, so I'd expect him to improve. And given that the tight ends are so ugly, I'd say he's a pretty good streamer any week. Yeah, so I, I like that option as well. I, are you concerned about him or not really? in terms of like an actual starter? Well, he's probably not a top five tight end like I thought he was going to be last week, but like he's he's still pretty decent. Yeah. Like there's, no. there's not many tight ends that are going to be better than him. Yeah. It's a miracle. Oh, yeah. Cheers, here's Siddle, 